Hey guys, this is my friend Tara, and she's going to tell tell you a little bit about her vehicle. It's kind of an unusual one, especially in America. So what is this, Tara? It's a, uh, this is a 1996 um, Mitsubishi Delica, and it was imported from Japan, so it's a right-hand drive. Uh, diesel engine, 4x4, four four, so great vehicle for this area, and also uh, I actually bought it for the uh, winter in Canada, and uh, for the snow. It's got great clearance. Um, yeah, pretty much can go anywhere. Um, you told me maybe you had the wrong tires on for this uh, yeah. environment though? Yeah, I came down in December, so I've got winters on right now, which um, are, are a little soft for this kind of, uh, for the rocky area down here. Um, but, you know, if you had some great cargo tires on and a little bit of off-road tires would be great. So these have to be imported, right? Yes, uh, in Canada they have to be 20 years old to import, and I think in the States it's 25 years old to import. Hmm. And how have you done with the uh, driver, the driver on the other side of the vehicle? Actually, th with this vehicle, it's really easy because there's a lot of windows, so you have a lot of visibility. Okay. And uh, it's actually stranger to get used to being the passenger, so that yeah. you're on the passenger side without a steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> um, and centering yourself in the lane was a little bit odd at first. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I'm so intrigued by this vehicle. I met someone else uh, in Bend, Oregon, who had the same vehicle, but it was a little taller, and uh, but just so cool. And yeah. some people do campers on or the tents on the top, right? Yeah, it actually came with a tent on the top, but uh, it wasn't useful for me uh, just because I had a an 85 pound lab at the time and going up and down the ladders that wasn't something that I really wanted to do and um, so I built a little bed inside just for it wasn't um, I didn't do it for long-term living in a van it was just sort of weekend kind of stuff uh, but I've been in it now for almost a month um, sleeping in it but I've been luckily um, traveling with my friend Fiona so that I can use her kitchen um, but I built a couple little things so you could use a small Primus stove or uh, do dishes or something outside as well. Cool. All right, well, let's uh, take a little look at the bed. So there's a, a lot of room in here for um, one person and obviously my dog. I have my dog's kennel in here. She um, no longer has a, a large lab. She has a little tiny one. Little, yeah, I've little got tiny a Billy. little French bulldog. So she is a great little traveler and a great companion. And um, I'm going to actually change this out and, and make the bed full length and uh, uh, or full width, and then it'll be good for um, you know if you're like my mom's going to come traveling with me for a little bit, uh, just for a couple of weeks, and so it'll be good. We can both be able to fit in there. Oh wow! Both of you will be able to fit, huh? Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, it'll be cozy. Yeah. <laughs> it might be a little too cozy after a couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, and Billy sleeps in her kennel, um, or no? Sometimes she does, but mostly that's become a place for her her toys, her and gear. she likes to come in here and play with her toys. Yeah. She's um, a little cold here in in the at night in the desert, so yeah. she's been snuggling in with me. <laughs> Great. Let's look at the backside too. Sure. So, so you sort of have a little kitchen going, right? Uh, well, no, it's just storage really so okay. I've just got a tote here that I can pull in and out and a spot for the cooler so I just built it high enough uh, for clearance for those two things because I had those when I built this and I just built a bed with slats um, so kind of like a bit of an Ikea style and so I can roll it up and and it's in two pieces so I can take it apart when I'm not using it and the Delica itself has um, seating for seven, so I took the two back seats out, but I've still left the bench seat in the, uh, behind the passenger and uh, driver's seat. Um, so when I'm not camping, then I still have that ability to take more than one, one uh, passenger. Great, and you have a little, height, uh, little workspace there? Yeah, I've got a little table that I built, and uh, it's just, this is where you can do a little bit of cooking. It's great that the door opens up this way, so if it is raining, uh, that'll keep the rain off you. You can make uh, lunch, you can use your little Primus stove, you can uh, do your dishes out here. 
Yeah. And when the door's shut, the door sort of keeps it in place, right? So. It, yeah, it doesn't tend to slide around. It's pretty yeah. close to the door, so it uh, keeps everything in place. Very nice. And you have just a. Uh, just um, a memory foam. A memory foam mattress yep. there. And. Uh, couple layers of foam. Yeah, a couple layers of memory foam. And the nice thing about the Delica is it actually came with all those curtains. So I didn't have to put those in. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. That's nice. They say that people do camp in the Delica. You can drop down all the seats um, if you want to, but it's not that comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little small inside. It's probably smaller than most minivans, I'd say, especially the head space. Mm -hmm. um, but you've made it work for you, huh? Oh, it's Lucky I'm short. <laughs> <laughs> and you uh, carry a kayak and a storage pod up there? Yeah, that's right. So the storage pod is great because I can bring some extra things with me. Um, and the kayak rack is, uh, they're called the Thule Hullivators. So they actually are a hydraulic assist um, uh, kayak rack that come down to the side of the van. And then it's all hydraulic assist up. So it makes it really easy to load and unload a kayak. Very cool. And uh, I mentioned this before to you, but I love your accent. <laughs> and so it, to me, it sounds uh, kind of like an Irish accent. Could you just tell us how, uh, where you got that beautiful accent from? <laughs> well, I think it's a mix of my mom was from Victoria, BC, and my dad was from Corner Brook, Newfoundland. So the Newfoundlanders have a little bit of a, an Irish type accent. And uh, I don't know, maybe I picked that up, uh, you know, <laughs> from my dad. Yeah. <laughs> Americans must mention it all the time though. Um, I just think that they think I have a different type accent, different. not necessarily that it's Irish, but yeah. yeah. Well, I love it. It's nice. <laughs> uh, so your hitch, can you tell me a little bit about this? Yeah. So this hitch, because of uh, where it needs to connect on the vehicle, um, you couldn't just buy off the rack. So the guy I bought it off of, which I'll, I'll give him a little promotion here is Comox Valley Delica, uh, dot com and he imports these vehicles and his name is Ben and so I named the Delica after Ben and this is Benny and um, so he had this hitch made and then um, sold it to me and had it uh, mounted onto the Delica because I actually have an R-Pod uh, trailer that I pulled with this which uh, this pulls that, that trailer absolutely no problem which is about 2300 pounds dry very cool and here's your little pup. That's Billy. <laughs> she never stays still long enough for me to get a good shot of her. <laughs> yeah, she's so sweet. <laughs> she makes lots of little noises. <laughs> so cute. Well, thanks, Tara. Thanks for uh, showing us Benny. Um, it's an awesome little vehicle, and I appreciate it. <laughs>